Philippians chapter three, that's our, our reading for this morning. I want to drop down to verse 18 and just look at three verses with you this morning, really focusing our attention on verse 20. Colossians three at verse 18, this is going to sound a whole lot like uh, Ephesians chapter six. Wives, be subject to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and not be embittered against them. Children, be obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not exasperate your children so that they will not lose heart. You know, I, I can think of nothing worse than my children losing heart. The guilt that I would have to live with in knowing that I had done or not done something by way of exasperating them to the point that they lost heart. The children grow up to be adults. And as we've said in previous studies, God has blessed them as he has blessed us with free will. And they will one day make a decision as to who they will serve. And that decision will be their decision. But as for me right now as a parent in the stage that I'm in with children who are under my roof or dependent upon me, I have a role in this, and as we've talked about, to teach them, to discipline, to bring them up in the nurture and instruction of the Lord. Verse 20 says that children will be, are to be obedient to their parents in all things. You know, obedience is a learned behavior. And, and as parents, we need to love our children enough to hold them accountable, to give them instruction. And when they are disobedient, there needs to be consequences. And they should feel that. And it should cause them to think. And discipline should be met with instruction, teaching them what they did wrong, teaching them what is right, and why it is wrong, and why it is right, and what they could have done better, or even what they should have done. You know, it's interesting that this instruction right here is written in the context here in verse three of the heading in my Bible says, putting on the new self, reminding us of what Jesus has done for us. The new man in Christ, dead to sin, dead to that old man that was put away in the waters of baptism. And there's these beautiful, much like Ephesians chapter four, there's this uh, beautiful picture of what the Christian looks like practically. And then in verse 18, he tells wives to be subject to their husbands as fitting to the Lord. And husbands, love your wives and not to be embittered against them before he gets into children. And, and I don't think any of that is by accident, obviously. This is the Holy Spirit. This is God. And even when it comes to the relationship between the husband and the wife, it's in this relationship that our children are going to learn the value and the power and the necessity of subjection in relationships. And certainly, as we read in verse 19, that, that husbands are to love their wives. Ephesians 5 tells us that we're to love, husbands are to love their wives as Christ loves the church. When our children begin to come to an understanding of how much Jesus loves them, one of the things that they should connect that with is how much dad loves mom. And when they come to an understanding of subjection and ranking yourself under and being willing to submit to others. They ought to connect that with the relationship between a wife and a husband. So these are good reminders for us. Again, I apologize for my voice yesterday. I finally went to the doctor after being stopped up for about a month, and I've got a double ear infection. I've got a sinus infection going on, so I've got some antibiotics now. Um, they've got some kind of other steroid thing that they've they've got me on, and so hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be good to go um, by Saturday, and then be back in the pulpit on the Lord's Day. I can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father in heaven, Father, we are so thankful for another day in Your Word, for this opportunity, Father, to come to study more about Your Word, Father. For our children, we are so very thankful. What a wonderful blessing they are. Father, you know their challenges. You understand the world, its corrupt nature, and all the various things that pulls at them. Father, we want them to be with you one day in heaven. 
We pray that they will grow up to love you and to know you. They will be spiritually minded. That they will be God toward in all things. Father, we love you. We pray for wisdom. We pray for courage as parents. Help us, Father, to be the type of parents that, that you would have us to be. To love our children in such a way as you have loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.